with this, you really have to. I'm scared the spoon is gonna break. Pizza! A pizza scarpetta. New York, yeah. here we go! I love the sounds. Yeah. Right? Ciao ragazzi, today we're gonna review Italy. We're gonna eat everything and we see if it's gonna be real Italian. Nice music. Where are you going without me? Where are you going without me? I'm going to Italy. Yes, let's try this pizza, pasta, everything. Let's try it. Excited? Mm -hmm. Let's go. What are we gonna order? Oh, we're definitely getting pizza. Yes. We're definitely getting pasta. This is the famous... It's the famous what? The famous New York City tap water. Yeah. Pasta fresca, amore. Check the menu and tell us what we're gonna order. <laughs> okay, we're doing a pizza margherita. We're gonna try pasta fresca. Tagliatelle al bolognese. Oh, risky. And then, bucatini, cacio e pepe, che pasta sec, normal pasta. And then it's it, right? Why don't you dig in and try it, amore? Yes. It's actually really good. It's good? Yeah. Wanna you wanna me? try? Yeah, I do. Actually really good. I give a good point for this pasta. Okay. Not like Italy, this pasta. But we are there. It's good, but it's not 100% like Italy. Like exactly. Italy. But it's good. It's good. Can I catch a pepe? Yes. What about do you give? Seven. Me too. Seven. Okay. Seven. All right. Let's try cacio e pepe. I am an expert. At you are expert. <laughs> so you um, eat Rome cacio e pepe like crazy. One of my favorite pastas. Pasta is al dente, which I appreciate. No. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You want to try it, Amore? I try. Pecorino. Strong pecorino. Red pasta al dente. Red cream, but not like raw. Yeah. They can be raw. Okay. Yeah. So. Six and a half, seven. I was gonna give it a six because I appreciate the cook of the pasta and I appreciate that they offer cacio e pepe because I can't ever find it in the US. Yeah. So I'm happy, but it's not up to the Rome standard. We compare it to Italy. Yes. Compared to the United States, it's this a is a, <laughs> a nine. Yeah. Yeah, ten. Yeah. Exactly. So compared to your neighborhood Olive Garden. Of course. But we're being super, super strong and comparing to Italy. Exactly. We compare it to Italy. So, if I was in New York, living here, definitely I was eating this. I was too. really happy, like a seven and a eight. Me too, me too. But if I compare it to Italy, this is a... Seven and a six and a half. Six and a half, seven. Yeah. yeah. It's still really good. It's still really good. The cream is super, super deep inside, so you gotta get that. So if you have the good cream, it's a solid seven. A solid seven? Yeah. yeah. Solid seven. Almost a seven and a half. <laughs> About the tagliatelle, no, I need to say you can feel the difference between the meat and it's supposed to be 50 50 wrapped cow and pig and here they have it so they really make authentic stuff here yeah I'm really the surprised just seem really really authentic. I'm really surprised like my score if I need a paragonation for United States is like nine like I can eat, I agree never eat so good in United States like here 
And um, best Italian food. If you go to Bologna, it is obviously the level is more high. I think the dry pasta in Bologna is better processed than here because we're still in New York in the restaurant. But amazing, amazing. And now pizza. Yesterday we came here for the first time with the pizza, and I already know this is amazing. Yesterday, when they came the pizza, I already see how it looks the pizza. I was thinking, yeah, this could be. Today, when I look at the pizza, I say, oh, could be different if the cooker's changing and then change the, the what experience. The experience. The experience non change at all. Oh, good. This is the best pizza ever. Okay, you can find in the United States, but you can beat some in Italy. Even with this. When I go in Tuscany in Sicily, this beat Tuscany in Sicily. Beat Tuscany in Sicily. We never been to Naples. We have to go to Naples. But this, the cook, I think yesterday was from Naples. I, I hear the accent. You have to eat this pizza. Absolutely. I'm going to say again because it is amazing. That's it, Amore. That's it. It really does rival a lot of the pizzas I've had in Italy. Yeah. Looking for authentic Italian pizza in the United States, you have to come here and try this. Even the plates are authentic. Oh yeah. I miss these pizza plates. Yeah. <laughs> it is a miracle to me that they have made the doughs have the same flavor as it has in Italy. Do you know what missing for to be over the top? A drizzle in the Italian olive oil. Oh. It's missing the Italian olive oil. I don't know if Naples they're doing like with the olive oil. But they're gonna be proud of me because I'm eating with my hands. I know, we're I eating, eating with our hands for the first time. I'm eating with a uh, knife and fork, not a crust. But eating like this, we do in, in North Italy, we don't even in other places. I think the difference is though, this is a margarita, so there's less toppings. If we had a pizza with a lot of toppings, maybe it would be... No. The difference is, when you eat with knife and fork, you actually enjoy the pizza, and then you come down the, the stomach, okay? When you eat with hands, usually I, I do it when I'm super angry, I finish the pizza in two seconds and I'm still angry. With knife and fork, you enjoy it, the flavors. It's more of an experience. It's an experience La that you're vita. Exactly. Then everybody can do whatever they want. If you follow me, knife and fork. What are you doing, Amore? A pizza scarpetta. You did pizza in the ragu. The crust. It was just so good. You got all the ragu. Non si fa così, amore. Non si fa. This is the recipe you always cook, amore. Yes. And everybody says, oh, it's so simple. Yes. A revolution. Exactly. In five ingredients. America people cannot understand me when I say simplicity is the way. It's the best. Simplicity is key. Oh, hey, Amore. <laughs> oh, oh, Amore. Fancy, fancy seeing you here. Yeah, I was looking for the pasta. I don't know the brand. I tried to figure it out. 
you know, if it's dry, low dry pasta, something like that. And then we're writing down. Because you no know, means high price quality. Actually, it is an ingredient that should be low when you do dry pasta, like really dry pasta, for make really good pasta. But they don't write here, so. So about pesto, I'm really excited to try one from Sicily. It is pesto uh, al pistacchio, or, or like the Americans say, pistachio. Pistacchio. And a pesto uh, genovese. Right, amore? Yeah. So we are excited for the or buy the pesto al pistacchio. Oh my gosh, because when we were in Sicily and we had this pesto al pistacchio, correct? Yes. It was uh, incredible. Pizza. <laughs> Sicily cannot do pizza, but they're doing they do really good with pistacchio. Everything pistachio is a um, pistacchio, the gelato, cannoli, pesto al pistacchio is the best. The best. Do I have anything in my teeth? Yeah. Wow. Look that dirty feet. Come on in, tell me. No, nothing. It is pricey for a panettone. Oh, wow. Nice, nice, nice. Stay here. Stay here. Oh. Per i miei amici italiani, for my Italian friends, Parmigiano Reggiano, 17 e 60 dollari per una, una piccola grattugiata memorabile. I wonder how much that is. 5,000 dollars. <laughs> Instead to invest gold, I need to invest in Parmigiano Reggiano in the United States. It is gold. Oh, seventeen dollars. This? You know how much you can buy in Italy with this? How much would you get in Italy for seventeen dollars? How ah, many pieces? Nice. I mean, Parmigiano Reggiano is, is pricey, man. I'm fair. Yeah, I think so. I'm fair. Maybe a little bit more, depending where you are. The world's best. I thought you had the world's best here. My recipe is the best. <laughs> I almost want to buy it for see how is the pet and how much cost. Let's see. Oh wait, it's down here. Tiramisu. Seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars for the best tiramisu. It doesn't have. It has mascarpone and eggs, so it does yep. look authentic. It looks authentic, recipe. yeah why it's the best authentic good ingredients okay but for writing the best you need to have my face on you want to sponsor it <laughs> so a canolo right yeah a canolo uh -huh. if it fit for now okay anything any flavor for the cannoli oh pistachio so they fill up the cannoli, so... Mm -hmm. Should be good. Should be good. Because the key is... Never, never, never buy cannoli or any made it. You need it to fill up. If you see a cannoli made in the glass container... Just throw it away. They look like this. They look Italian. good, yeah. So far they look good. This looks Italian. The baba, they are looking different, but... Uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe for simplicity. The moment of truth. Canola from Italy. Al pistacchio. Fresh milk. Fresh milk. 
Uh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. No compare Sicily at all. You know, Sicily hard to beat Sicily. But man, it's not bad for to be New York. Canolo. Really? I gotta try it. Solid. Solid. It's not over pistachio, right? Right. In Sicily there was... It needed a little bit of a dip in the fresh crumbled pistachio. It's pretty good. The cream, I love it. The cream yeah. is good. The shell is missing something. It's missing. You cannot beat Sicily. Yeah. So, but, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Six for encouragement. For US? Seven and a half. Okay. Seven and a half for US. I mean, I, this is my first canola in US. You're going to change the score later. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to do a cannoli test, so... <laughs> Empty. It's okay. Points deducted for not getting the cream all the way out. Oh, yeah. Not all the way. I wish to have this in a hard state because it is my breakfast. Every morning, a couple of gochule. I buy it. And a coffee. Oh, yeah. Like a, a bag of gochule. A bag. In Tio, it's not even a tomorrow. It's not an yeah. Italy review without a scoop of gelato. Of right course, someone. We have to know. Okay. Wow. So you go first. We have to know. We have to know. Let's go try this pistachio here. A New York quiet area. All right, wait a second. Okay, Ma, before I put this ice cream to the entire building, we need to try and see if it's worth it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, I mean, no. if not, it's gonna be a treasure there for... Yeah, go ahead. You're gonna be the first. I'm worried about the consistency or... It's really thick. Ah, no see happiness. So we're not there, but again, we're a hundred times closer than anything else. Let's see. The real judge here in the United States. We are not there, but the like the consistency, the flavor of the pistachio is great. Yes. Like, but the consistency is so thick. It's thick. It's missing something. This has potential to arrive at 10. Yeah. But for America, this is a 10. Exactly, exactly. For Italian, this is a 6 because the price. Okay, if we have New York, a $6 for a ball. I mean, it looks too, but it's New York. Let's say New York, okay? But yeah, it's not that bad. We're there, but not quite there, right? Yeah. It's missing something with the consistency. It's too thick. Too thick. It doesn't have the light and creaminess that you in have. Italy is it's like melt in your mouth in Italy. Italy. This is maybe in Italy where they try to trick you. Ah, uh, yes. Like nice, but not real good gelato. Yeah. So I want to show you guys what we mean. So usually you could just dig your spoon in there and scoop it out easily. But this, you really have to... I'm scared the spoon is going to break. Exactly. This sirens is for this. <laughs> Illegal. Illegal things. This is Italian coming, waiting. It shouldn't be this hard to like spoon out, you know? Yeah. But the flavor is a bad. Yes. You going to eat it or what? I try it, but you see how... <laughs> Terrible is. Look. It's like glue. <laughs> so we gotta say we gotta take it back a little bit because we said we were there, but not quite there. I don't know if we're even quite there. The flavor. The flavor is good. It's not bad. It's no fake flavor. 
You remember when we go eat the pistachio? Yes, yes. if you didn't see the ice cream pistachio yeah. video. But this is, I know we'll spend this money for The this. texture is crazy, and this was seven dollars. Hey, we come back from Italy, Italy. Mita, how you think about New York? Let me zoom. She loves New York. She loves it. Oh. Me too, You love New York. So you see the nose, she have a little injured, so she need to recover this little baby. No, she wanna go sleep. Okay. <laughs> we finished our experience to Italy. Mm -hmm. We was trying to say, oh, let's filming home. Uh, cause it's cozy, like uh, without no sounds. New York -y. Party out there. The you neighbors got... are throwing a big party. <laughs> <laughs> Music. So, what do you think about uh, the food that we eat? Overall, I really enjoyed it. I was very impressed, pleasantly yeah. surprised, and I would say compared to other Italian places that you can find in the U.S., this tops everything. This tops everything we've ever had Italian food-wise in the U.S. so far. Yes. So far. Compared to what you get in Italy, yes. some of it was close, some of it was potentially a little bit equal or better. Some of it wasn't quite there yet. I would get the pizza, then for me the cacio e pepe was really good too. Yeah, me pizza, I was going there eating pizza and then uh, probably I was going to the tagliatelle, me. Now personally. we're gonna have to move to New York City <laughs> so that we can eat all the food here all the time because it's gonna be cheaper than plane tickets to Italy. <laughs> yes, we love it. So I hope Italy, you get a thumbs up from Thumbs us. up for New York. So this could be a big move for to come live in New York. I mean, I'm more happy right now for the pizza. We go apartment hunting in Maybe. the next video. See you to the next. Ciao! Ciao.